take a look at what we have here. We've got our quarterly sales for each region. And I'd like to actually have a trend here that shows the progression of the sales over the four quarters. It's very easy to do. I'm clicking inside of my cell where I want the uh, spark line to be. I'm going to go to the insert tab in the ribbon. If I look towards the right, I'm going to go to spark lines. And I see that there are three types of spark lines I can have. I can do a line, I can do a column, or I can do a win loss. We'll start off by doing a line, right? So I'll click on line. Very simply, it's going to ask me to highlight the cells that I would like for it to do a spark line for. So I'm going to go ahead and highlight these four quarterly numbers here. And I'm going to click OK. And there we go. There's my spark line. Now I can use the fill tool to copy my spark line down to other values or other rows here. So I'm going to grab my fill tool. I'm going to copy that down. And there we go. I'm getting spark lines for each of my regional sales numbers. Now what I can do is, well, what you'll see is if, if these values begin to change, right, you'll see the spark lines adjust automatically based on the values of the cells. So the spark line uh, is adjusting and is drawing its data from those cells. So as the cells change, the spark lines will change as well. When I click on my spark lines, I get spark line tools here in the ribbon. Design. So let's take a look. First thing I could do is edit my data if necessary. If it was not based on the correct cells, I could change that here. I can switch from a line to a column or a win loss. Okay. Let's stick with a line. I have different elements that I could choose to display on my spark line. I can accentuate the high point if I want, low point, negative points, the first, last points, and I can indicate markers as well. These are some of the different styles that I could use. Okay, I could apply any of these pre-made styles. Or I could manually come over here to spark line color choose a different color or choose a different weight. I tend to like to do that. I can even come here and format each marker color. So I can say, all right, I want maybe the high point to be green. Maybe I want the low point to be red, what have you. And there we go. We have spark lines are fully formatted and functioning. Now initially, it's grouping these spark lines together because I copied them down. What I can do is highlight everything and I can come and say ungroup. And now these are all separate spark lines. I could format each of these separately if that's what I wanted to do. And there we go. If I wanted to get rid of the spark lines, I could highlight, I could go to clear. I could say clear selected spark lines or clear the entire group if they were still grouped together. 